Okay, so we've got PV to the gamma is equal to a constant. And we have to find out what this is. We're told the number of moles is equal to 2.00. The pressure is 1 atmosphere, which we can write as 1.01 .01 times 10 to the 5 pascals. And the temperature is 300 kelvins. We're told it's diatomic and it rotates but does not oscillate, which tells us that F is equal to 5. 3 translational degrees of freedom plus 2 rotational. Now the easiest way to solve this problem is just to work out what P is, what V is, and what gamma is. We've already got P here. To work out V, we should use the ideal gas law. PV is equal to nRT, which tells us that V is equal to nRT over P. So N is 2, R is 8.314, T is 300, and the pressure is 1.01 .01 times 10 to the 5. Solving that on the calculator, we end up with 0 0.04939 meters cubed. Now we've got V as well, so we just need to calculate gamma. Gamma is equal to CP on CV. CP is equal to CV plus R of CV. Now CV is F over 2R plus R over F over 2R. Our R's will cancel out and we end up with F plus 2 over F. And we've seen that F is 5, so this is 7 over 5, which is 1.4. Okay, now all we need to do to find R a constant is substitute in. P is 1.01 .01 times 10 to the 5 pascals. V is 0 0.4939, whoops, we left off the 0, meters cubed, and then gamma is to the 1.4. So we solve that on the calculator and we end up with 1,498, which is equal to 1,500. Now, strictly speaking, we should always give units. The units in this case are very strange units. We've got P, the pressure is measured in pascals, and then this is the volume to the power of 1.4. So this is meters cubed to the 1.4. So the units are PA, 3 times 1.4 gives us 4.2. So it's metres to the power of 4.2. So those would be our very strange units.